my strength and I will love you Lord my shield and I
my shield and my strength, and my rock. You are my strength, my shield, and my rock. You are my shield, strength, and my rock. Yeah. My strength, my shield, and my rock. My strength, my shield, and my rock. It's who you are. It's what you do. It's who you are. It's what you do. Strength of Almighty God. My buckler and my shield. My buckler and my shield. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war. Wow. Blessed be. Isn't it phenomenal? Singing the word of God. Psalm 25, open your Bibles. If you got on a little late, we're going to do the last five or six verses. Verses 10 through 15. Psalm 25, yeah. Singing out the word of God. Meditating on the word of God. We got music and worship as our base. A music bed. Verse 10. We'll walk right up to verse 15. Wow. Check this out. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth. All the paths of our Lord are mercy. Doesn't that do your heart good? Yeah. All the paths of the Lord our mercy and truth to those that keep his covenant and his testimonies get this now verse 10 psalm 20 by me all the pathways of the lord are mercy and truth wow so awesome all the paths of the lord are mercy this is the new king james straight up man all the paths of the Lord are full of mercy and truth to those that keep his covenant. To those who keep his testimony. The Lord has his own testimonies. Yeah. To those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. Hear it again slowly. All the paths of the Lord are the very power of mercy and truth. Man, stay on those pathways. The Amplified said, all the paths of the Lord are loving kindness, goodness, truth, and faithfulness. Think of this now. For the Amplified takes mercy and truth and divides it two words into four. See, all the pathways of the Lord are loving kindness and goodness, truth, and faithfulness to those who keep his covenant and keep his testimonies. He said, if you confess me before men, I'll confess you before the Father. That's what I'm doing with Jesus. People say, what do you do for a living? I do worship because Jesus saved my scrawny little life and he's worthy of it all. Really? How long? I've been doing it 48 years, 49 years. Wow. Because see, all the pathways of the Lord are loving kindness and goodness, truth and faithfulness. All of Adonai's paths are grace and truth to those who keep his covenant and his instructions. The complete Jewish Bible says to those that know and keep his covenant and they know his instructions on how to live Christ-like in a godly fashion. I love that translation. We're, we're keeping his covenant and his instructions. He gave us instructions. The apostle Paul alone, man, the four small epistles, wow. And when we obey him, every path he guides us on is fragrant with loving kindness and his truth. What? When I saw the living Bible, I went, oh man. When we obey him, 
every path he guides us on is fragrant with his loving kindness and his truth. What a translation. Yeah, I want my pathways to be fragrant with his loving kindness. Yeah, an aroma, the power of the fragrance of his loving kindness. Woo, there's a revelation, huh? Because see, when we obey him, Every path he is my guide, he guides us on is fragrant. It's full of an abundance of his loving kindness and this truth. Check it out. Now, one more. Every path of Yahweh is one of mercy and truth for those who get ready. We cling to his promises and written instruction. There it is. Wow, thanks for sharing, Lord. Verse 10, Psalm 25. Every path of Yahweh's is one of mercy and truth. Every pathway of Yahweh is one of mercy and truth. For those who cling to his promises, for those who cling to his instructions, I'm clinging. Are you clinging to his? I'm clinging to his promises. Yeah, he gave us the strength and the grace. Moving up in the anointing, moving up in your presence, Lord. We're clinging to your promises and your written instructions, Lord. Oh, we're moving on up in your anointing and we're moving up in the power of your presence Lord while clinging to your promises I'm clinging to your written instructions yeah nah, I'm clinging isn't it awesome to your promises to your written instructions Lord yeah Every day, every hour, I'm clinging to your promises. I'm clinging on to your written instructions. In verse 11, the psalmist completes our thought with, See, for your name's sake, Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. I don't want my sins held against you in my foolishness or in my stupidity. For your name's sake, O oh Lord. What a high-level prayer, by the way. Pardon my iniquities for the honor of your name, Lord. Forgive my many, many sins. Yes. But, Lord, my sins, how many they are, pardon them for the honor of your name. And he did. In the Son of God, for the honor of his name, the name above every other name, he pardoned and forgave our sins. Somebody say hallelujah, bro. Wow. Verse 12, check this out now. Let's get into A minor. the Lord. Huh? Him shall the Lord teach in the way that he chooses. If you fear the Lord, where is the man or woman who fears the Lord? God will teach him how to choose the best. Oh, that is so right. What a revelation. God will teach us how to choose the best as we fear, which is revere and worship the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is the man, the woman who fears the Lord with awe-inspired reverence and worship? What was it? Amplified Bible says, the man or the woman who fears the Lord, well, it's with awe-inspired 
reverence. We see you, Lord. We see high and lifted up. Your train filling the temple. So it's all inspired reverence and worship. We have reverence and worship with submissive wonder before the living God. Isn't that a phrase? The ones who fear the Lord with awe-inspired reverence and worship, they worship Him with submissive wonder. Oh, I've had many days, many uh, church meeting services where I was in submissive wonder over the greatness of my Savior. It says he will teach him through his word in the way he should choose. Thank the Lord, he said, if you're going to worship me, then this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the best pathways and how to choose the best for your life. For me on the earth, my kingdom come, my will be done. Who are those who respect and fear the Lord? Who are those who respect and fear the Lord? He will point us. He will teach us the best ways. The ways we should walk and choose. He will point us, God, to the best ways. Who are they that respect and fear the Lord? This is verse 12, man. Psalm 25. Don't we love the scripture and the verses? He that fears the Lord himself shall dwell in prosperity. Verse 13. He shall live. He will live within God's circle of blessing. It's a living Bible. How I love this. This, this should be lyrics in a song contemporarily right now. He that fears the Lord, now verse 13, we move from 12 to 13. He shall dwell in prosperity and his descendants will inherit the earth. The Living Bible says, the ones that live in the fear of the Lord within the circle of God's blessing. Wow. To all those who fear the Lord, they will live within the circle of the Lord's blessing and their children will inherit the earth. Those who live in the fear of the Lord, those who walk in the worship of God will live within the circle of the Lord's blessing. I believe that. Prosperity, God's circle of blessing, then prosperity and favor will be their portion. Somebody say yes, Lord. Our prosperity and favor, His prosperity and favor will be our portion. We'll live within the circle of the Lord's blessing because we walk and live and sing in the fear and the worship of Almighty God. Thanks for sharing, Kent. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Prospering in you. The favor of the Lord. The favor of the Lord. We're prospering in you. Within the circle, we're living within your circle, Lord. Oh, the circle of your blessings. Then prosperity and favor will be their portion. Those who revere the Lord and their descendants will inherit all that is good. Closing in on it, verse 14. Oh. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear 
revere and worship him. Woo! Check this. There's such a topic, a theme called the secret of the Lord. He shares his heart in intimacy with those who fear, revere, and worship him. Ah, I want to be some of those people in that crowd. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear, revere, and worship you, Lord. Ah, we worship you, Lord. Ah, ah, ah. The secret of the Lord, Lord, is with those Show your covenant to us. Do it again. Ah, yeah. Oh, the secret of the Lord is with those, is with those who fear and revere and worship you, Lord. You show us your covenant. This is verse 14. Yeah. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear, revere, and worship worship you, Lord. They worship you, Lord. They can't help themselves minute by minute and hour by hour. We worship you, Lord. Oh, Bible verse 14 the secret of the wise counsel of the Lord is for those who fear him and he will let them know his covenant and reveal to them through his word it's deep inner meaning hear the whole thing again it's so good the secret of the wise counsel of the Lord is for those who fear him and he will let you know his covenant and reveal to them through his word it's deep inner meaning if you sit before him you will see and get revelation through his word it's deep inner meaning God I love that and then check this out friendship with God is reserved for those who reverence him Friendship with God is reserved for those who reverence Him, revere the Lord. With them, He shares the secrets of His promises. That's just what Jesus said the Holy Spirit would do. There's somebody coming back. I'm going to send somebody back in my place, Jesus told the disciples. And it's the Paracletos, the one who walks alongside. The one who will lead you and guide you into all the truth. He will reveal to you the secrets of the living God's promises. And check this one. God friendship is for God worshipers. God friendship is for God worshipers. Friendship for God is for worshipers of the Lord. These are the ones he confides in. These are the ones he... Isn't that an amazing truth right there, people? Come on. Friendship with God is for worshipers, worshipers of the Lord. Friendship with God is for God worshipers. They are the ones he... He shows the secrets of his heart. He confides in those that fear and revere and worship him. That fear and revere and worship him. That fear and revere and worship him. And there it is. There is a private place reserved for the lovers of God where they sit near him and receive the revelation secrets 
of his promises and his covenant passion translation there's a private place reserved for the lovers of God where they sit near him they're lovesick they're, they're, I just it's a great word where they sit near him and receive the revelation secrets of his promises so verse 15 my eyes are ever toward the Lord come on say it with me out loud my eyes are ever toward the Lord do it again my eyes are ever toward the Lord for he will pluck my feet out of the net. You see, I set my eyes continually toward the Lord, for he will bring my feet out of the net, and my eyes are always directed toward Adonai, for he will free my feet from the trapper's net. Won't be trapped anymore. My eyes are ever looking to the Lord for help, for he alone can rescue me. Rescue me, Lord, for you're the only hero I have. Yes, you rescue me. One more time. My eyes then. My eyes are ever toward you, Lord. My eyes are ever toward you, Lord. My eyes are continually towards you, Lord. You free my feet from the net, and there it is. My eyes are directed toward Adonai. My eyes are directed toward Adonai, for you are my head. toward Adonai because you are my help. <laughs> Steve Hunt said we get a private table <laughs> at the Lord's restaurant of revelation. <laughs> it's awesome to be a friend of God. That's right, Mike Woods. Holy Ghost, man. Well, we're at the end of our stream for today. This is Psalm Thursday. The P and the T, they're rhyming. <laughs> Psalm Thursday, where I give you the revelation of the book of Psalms as I've understood it after singing them for 48 years in different capacities. Anyway, we love you guys. Thank you for your prayers. Um, Carla has really getting her strength back, really powerful. Uh, she has her own hair again. It's just it's just wonderful, man. I left on a trip uh, to Grand Island. The first place I went was an African church in Omaha, Nebraska. And uh, wow, man, um, not African-American. They're Africans. Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast, Togo. Uh, I mean, I, I think it was 14 different nations. I went to Omaha and went to 14 different nations. And uh, But when I got ready to come home on Monday, I got into the St. Louis airport from Omaha I said, I'm not going home to an empty house. Give thanks, Lord. I give you thanks. I told Carla, she goes, what? I said, no, listen to me, man. I didn't come home to an empty house. I'm very grateful. We have miles to go on a prophetic journey. Say yes. We all have miles to go on a prophetic journey. And our days are written in a book. They're not over yet. So we thank you for your prayers, for all your support. We'll see you real soon. God bless. Shalom, shalom.
Thank you.